Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to learn one of the Selenium interview question. How to enter a text without using a synthesis in Selenium. So here I have created a script for launching a browser, maximize the window and navigate to the Google page, finding the search element and store it in a variable. And using that variable, we are passing a value using a synthesis. And we need to click on a submit. So let me run this and I'll show you this how this flow is working. This is done with the send keys. See it's navigated URL, you see entering the text. See the result is getting displayed. Now, now what we have to do, we, we can achieve this using a uh, JavaScript executor and robot class, right? Without using a send keys. Now we need to learn without using a send keys. We can achieve using a JavaScript executor and robot class. We we'll learn and understand JavaScript executor first. Instead of send keys, we have to use a execute script method. So in execute script method is coming from the JavaScript executor. So first we need to call JavaScript executor. So I'll just command this line. Now let's go over here. I just wanted to call the JavaScript executor. You can say Java script executor can give any variable name equal to uh, within within the bracket we can give java script executor here we need to pass a driver so this javascript executor package you can import from that it is coming from selenium right so now using this variable that is a this variable you can give any variable name dot execute script method you need to call it execute script method in this execute script method we need to pass two argument right the first is a key what key we need to pass here we need to say arguments arguments of zero zeroth arguments dot we need to pass a value value is what are the value we are going to pass in our search field right so that value we need to give over here value equal to we can give uh, any value what you want to search so you can say online help created something like that so what is that second argument we need to pass here we need to pass the web element so web element already stored over here right so this web element we need to pass so this is what we have to do so now here we are passing a Calling that uh, JavaScript executor. In the JavaScript executor, we have a method called execute script. In this execute script, we need to pass two arguments. First, we need to mention argument zero dot value equal to what are the value we are going to pass. Right, that too in a single uh, code. Then we can say what is the element we are going to. I mean, that is a search field we need to add over here. So let me run this and see how this is working. See, it is entering the same keyword and it's clicking on a search as well. So it's working fine. Now, if you want to see here, here we can say this is an argument zero, right? Now, if you want to change the value, we are keep on changing the value means, what you can do, we can make it as an argument one this one something like this way i'll show you this i'll command this line and will come to the next line so you see execute execute script here we need to say the same thing argument arguments of zero dot value here we need to say the next value we need to pass okay, instead of passing the value something like this way we can go with the argument as well one more argument or arguments of one so you can pass arguments of one something like this now here first uh, argument we need to pass the search element so we can say search element the next here you need to pass the value something online calculator so here we can pass the value right so this is also we can do that but this value maybe you can search from you know getting from 
data data from your uh, other sources like Excel or uh, property file, wherever you want, you can pass the value from here as well. So this is one of the way, right? This is one of the way we can go with and this is also going to work. Now let me run this and show you how this is working. Here also we have the same endpoint. So now it is entering the text and it's clicking on a search as well. Right, so it's working fine. So both the way we could be able to achieve this. So next video we will see how we can achieve this using a robot class. I hope this is clear.